In this video, we're going to have a look at adjusting or editing our spreadsheets through the insertion or deletion of columns and rows. For this first spreadsheet, it might be that we find we've got another bill that we have to add to our spreadsheet. To insert a column or row, in the Home tab, in the Cells group, we have the Insert button. Do be aware that this is a dual function button. If I wanted to insert a VET bill in between food and petrol, and be aware that it will always insert a row above the selected row, or a column to the left of the selected column. If I click on Insert Now, it will insert one individual cell above the word petrol, so it's shifted petrol and total down and given me one new cell, but it hasn't shifted down that whole row, so it's not necessarily what we want to do. If I undo that work, so the dual function purpose, if you mouse over the insert button you should be able to see that it does have two separate sections. If I click on the drop down arrow we have again insert cells, but then we also have insert sheet rows and insert sheet columns. In this instance I want to insert a row, so if I click on insert and it drops everything below row 7 down a row. And then all I have to do is type in the information that's needed. So that's inserting rows, inserting courses, inserting columns rather is exactly the same process. Remember rows will always appear above and columns will always appear to the left. So if I had a new age range, 26 to 30 for this table, if I highlight anywhere within column F and then again it's the drop down arrow for the insert option and then in this instance it's insert sheet columns. That will shift column F into column G and then I can type in the new information into my new column F. To delete rows we go into this third ta table or spreadsheet. We've got these two rows, that we, or these two columns rather, that we don't necessarily need. And here we can make use of the delete cells button. Again, it's found in the cells group in the home tab, and again, it's a dual function button. If we click on the icon itself and we have one cell selected, that will delete only that cell that was selected. And remember a selected cell is identified by the thick black line around the cell. We now have no entry in I5 because we've shifted everything else up by one. So to delete the whole column all we have to do is click on the drop down arrow for delete and then again we've got delete cells, delete sheet rows and delete sheet columns. So if I click on delete sheet columns and it shifts everything to the left. Again, if I do the same for column H, click on the drop down for delete, and then delete sheet columns, everything again has shifted to the left. A second way in which we can insert and delete columns and rows is through right clicking. If I right click over column K and then I have insert and delete as an option. Because I let right clicked over the letter K itself it applies a whole column and the same for if I go for row 5 and I actually right click over the number 5 I can insert whole columns and rows and again to delete all I'd have to do is right click over the column or row I wish to delete and it is 
deleted. So that's inserting columns and rows. And always do remember, depending on what you've selected, it might not be a good idea to click on the insert or delete icons, but click on the drop-down buttons themselves.